Hello my sweeties! As usual, I will present to you some super amazing cozy games to look forward to. This time I bring you adorable farming sims, a medieval bartender and a way to play God. I hope you will find a new favorite to look forward to. And don't forget to subscribe for more new cozy game discoveries. Let's make a shot and cut to the cozy game chase. Do you like farming sims with a touch of magic? I for sure do! Pine Lily Village is an upcoming cozy Stardew Valley like, therefore the aesthetics are very similar to the early Harvest Moon games but the gameplay features combat and boss fights similar to Stardew Valley. There are even spellcasting abilities that can be improved via a skill tree. Not only do we get to harvest magical crops and have magical farm animals, but there are mysteries to uncover and a cat to rescue. Apart from that, we get to craft items, fish, catch bugs and prevent the locals. Pine Lily Village is created by a solo developer and for sure looks super promising. Pine Lily Village is coming soon to PC via Steam. Think coffee talk, but in a medieval setting. That is roughly the concept of tavern talk. In a charming, cozy design, players get to take the role of a tavern owner who creates magical drinks for their fantastic customers that are inspired by famous tabletop RPGs like Dungeons and Dragons. The beverages you create can affect the outcomes of the world's future. Will you be able to save Asteria from evil forces? Follow up the rumors you overhear as a tavern owner by sending travelers on a quest. When they come back, they might have a cool present for you to decorate the interior of your tavern with. The release date of Tavern Talk for PC via Steam is yet to be announced. Anime enthusiasts, listen up! Sunnyside is a JRPG farming sim set in the Japanese countryside. In classic farming sim style we start off with our first plot of land and try to make it thrive. For this we will have modern technology like solar panels and electric water pumps. To be truly self-sustainable we can learn to generate power or collect fresh water. Cooking in this game is taken to a new level as players can brew soy sauce or make cheese and then use it in their own customizable kitchen. You can create your character to your liking and customize the homestead, the buildings and more. Get to know the locals and maybe find a date as well. Sunnyside is coming 2023 to all major platforms. A cozy survival game with vibrant graphics is Solarpunk. Playing in first person we find ourselves on a set of futuristic floating islands. There will be food to grow, buildings and gadgets to create and moreover water, wind or solar energy to generate. Even farm animals like chicken, pigs, sheep and bees will reward you with resources if you treat them well. Also remember to keep your own health up and your stomach filled. Apart from farming and crafting you can use your very own customizable solar airship and explore the islands to find resources. You might even come across one of the flying merchants that will have a lot of handy items in their shops. But beware of thunderstorms that will not make sailing through the air easy. You don't have to set on this adventure on your own. Play in multiplayer mode and team up with your mates. Solarpunk is coming soon to PC via Steam and on Kickstarter it's also listed for consoles. This one is pretty much a sequel to the popular game Doodle God. Doodle God Universe does not only bring a new design to the table but also plenty new elements. Players start out with an empty world and have four elements and no time limit to create a whole flourishing universe. There are over 400 elements to discover and more than 700 reactions to find. Also, there are animated 3D scenes when you found a new addition to your planet. The evolution minigame will put you into the role of a plankton lizard and more to evolve into something even bigger. Lots of additional content seems to be planned for the future. If you want a closer look into what you can expect, check out the demo on Steam or wait for the full release this year.